Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to turn on developer mode on your Chromebook and Chrome OS. So the reason many people want to turn on developer mode is, is to install APKs from internet and other sources other than Google Play Store. So usually whenever we download those APKs we get and we try to install them, we get this message. It says turn on Chrome OS developer mode to install apps from so sources other than the Play Store. So to bypass this, we have to turn on developer mode. Now I'm gonna do step by step, but before I even start, I wanna give you some drawbacks of actually doing this. Now the first one is, once you do it, you're gonna remove all the security. Chromebooks are very well protected, but once you're in that developer mode, it's gonna leave you more uh, sustainable to you know to security issues I'm not gonna say viruses or anything like that but you're just not gonna be as protected as before now the second thing is if your Chromebook is new and you do this you're gonna probably uh, have warranty issues in case something happens they most likely not going to fix it if they see you're in developer mode so keep that in mind the third thing is you. this requires a factory reset, so you're going to lose everything. So if you have files, pictures, and so on and so on. The good thing about this is most of the stuff on Chromebooks are stored online, and if you have a backup, so everything will be back and running as, and as it was in an hour or two. And the third thing is, once we do this, every time you restart or turn on your Chromebook, you're going to be hit with that warning screen. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit, but every time you do this, you're gonna have to press a couple combo buttons to get out of that. And uh, if this is something you wanna do and install, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it now. So if you guys still okay with all the stuff I listed, and if you still wanna do it, this is how we do it. So we're gonna be using three button combo for this first one. We're gonna be using escape, refresh, and power. So let me show you guys that closer. So it's going to be escape and it's going to be refresh, the button that looks like this, and it's going to be power. So we're going to press all three at the same time. So And we're going to do one, two, three. We're going to press it. And there we go. Simple. Now that we are in this screen, it says right now we are in a recovery mode. So if you <laughs> decide to go back, you can just turn it off, turn it off and turn it back on. You will go back to normal. But if you want to proceed, what we're going to do is we're going to press uh, control and D and hold them at the same time. So we're going to do control and D and uh, we're going to press them at the same time and hold them. One, two, three. And there we go. Simple. Now it says turn OS verification of press enter. Your system will reboot and local data will be cleared. To go back, press escape. Now we want to do it, so we're just going to press enter. Now we're just going to wait a little bit. This is the next screen that's going to show up. So here we are, now it's a set saying on top, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, let me get it closer, it said starting in 30 seconds, it says your system is transitioning into developer mode, local data has been cleared, modification you make to the system are not supported by Google, may cause hardware issues and may void warranty. To cancel, turn your computer off now. We don't wanna cancel, so we're gonna proceed. Now it's saying preparing system for developer mode, this may take a while. Now, I do want to advise you should probably have your Chromebook plugged in or be at least on 100% battery. I do recommend just having it plugged in just in case you don't want your Chromebook to die while you're doing this process, then I'm not sure what would happen. You will have to probably reinstall the whole, whole Chrome, Chrome OS. Now this is saying on the top right corner, saying four minutes and 30 seconds. So it will take a while. All right, so it's almost finished. Now we got a black screen. Let's see what's next. Now it says OS verification is all. Press space to enable. Don't press space unless you want to go back. But what we're going to do is we're going to do Control and D again at the same time.
Now we have that uh, Chromebook starting up logo. All right, right now we're on setup screen. As I mentioned, you will have to start all over again. So make sure you use your account that you use if you want your stuff to be there from the backup. And once I complete this, I'll be back and I will see how the developer mode works. Now I just finished setting it up. Now let's see if we can install some APKs. Uh, let's do APK pure. This is one of the This is one of the websites used to download APKs. Now let's just do, let me see. I'm not sure which ones are on the Google Play or so which ones aren't, but this doesn't matter as long as we are able to install APKs. Uh, let's see, uh, let's do hot apps. And uh, let me see. Let me do show more. All right, so let's do, for example, Netflix app. We're gonna download APK. Now we're gonna do keep, we're gonna do show and folder. And this is the one, I also have the, the other one I was gonna show you, but Call of Duty doesn't work on this Chromebook. And make sure the last, when it says dot, it's APK. So we're gonna click on that. It says, this is the warning because we installed from the unknown sources. Now we're just gonna do install. Now, as you guys notice, we're not getting that message as I showed you in the beginning of the video, which is good. And here we are, we got the Netflix app. Now, I'm not sure if the Netflix app is on, at the actual Google Play Store for Chromebook, but either way, this is just example. You can do whichever APK you want, whichever app, and um, you will not get any warnings. And this works 100%. So that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It will really help me out. And thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it.